A step-by-step -step handicapping strategy, using the top 10 factors. In the dynamic world of horse racing, handicapping is the art and science of analyzing various factors to predict the outcome of a race and identify value betting opportunities. In this video, we'll explore a step-by-step -step handicapping strategy using the top 10 factors, equipping you with the knowledge and tools to navigate the complexities of horse racing handicapping with confidence and precision. Step 1. Review Past Performances Start by analyzing the past performances of each horse in the race. Focus on recent races, paying attention to finishing positions, speed figures, class levels, and consistency. Identify horses with strong recent form and consistent performances across multiple races. Step 2. Assess Pace Dynamics Evaluate the pace dynamics of the race by considering early speed, mid-race positioning, and late closing ability. Identify horses that are likely to benefit from the race's pace scenario, such as front runners in races lacking early speed or closers in races with a fast pace. Step 3. Consider class and form. Assess the class level of the race and evaluate each horse's current form. Look for horses moving up or down in class and those showing improvement or decline in form. Prioritize horses that have demonstrated competitiveness at the current class level and are in good form. Step 4. Evaluate trainer and jockey statistics. Examine the records of trainers and jockeys, considering factors such as win percentage, ROI, and recent performance. Identify trainers and jockeys with a history of success at the track or in similar race conditions. Favor horses ridden by top jockeys and trained by successful trainers with a proven track record. Step 5. Account for track conditions. Consider the specific track conditions, including surface type, moisture level, and firmness. Evaluate how each horse has performed under similar track conditions in the past. Give preference to horses that have demonstrated proficiency on the current track surface and under prevailing conditions. Step 6. Assess distance and course preferences. Assess each horse's suitability for the race distance and course configuration. Look for horses with a proven track record at the current distance and on similar track layouts. Give consideration to horses that have performed well at the specific distance and course conditions of the race. Step 7. Monitor workouts and pre-race preparations. Monitor the workouts and pre-race preparations of each horse leading up to the race. Look for consistent and impressive workouts indicating a horse's fitness and readiness to compete. Favor horses that have been training well and appear physically prepared for the race. Step 8. Consider post position. Analyze the impact of post position on each horse's trip and racing strategy. Evaluate how each horse's running style aligns with its post position and the track configuration. Adjust your assessment of each horse's chances based on its post position and potential trip dynamics. Step 9. Factor in equipment changes. Consider any equipment changes such as blinkers on or off, tongue ties, or shoe modifications. Evaluate how equipment changes may impact a horse's performance and adjust your handicapping accordingly. Look for horses that have responded positively to equipment changes in the past. Step 10. Evaluate race conditions and pace projection. Assess the specific conditions of the race, including the presence of other speed horses and potential pace scenarios. Consider how race conditions and pace dynamics are likely to influence each horse's performance. Adjust your handicapping based on the projected race conditions and pace scenario. Step 11. Final selection and wagering strategy. Narrow down your selections based on a holistic assessment of the top handicapping factors. Identify horses that rank highly across multiple factors and appear well-suited to the race conditions. Develop a wagering strategy based on the strength of your handicapping opinions and the potential value of each bet. Place your bets accordingly, focusing on opportunities where the potential reward outweighs the perceived risk. By following this step-by-step -step handicapping strategy and considering the top 10 handicapping factors, you can make more informed betting decisions and increase your chances of success in horse racing wagering. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel and leaving a comment with your thoughts. It really helps me to improve and create more content.